Good morning, everyone. So I've been seeing a lot of questions asking how to resize this uh, this new baseball cap. Well, actually, it's not new. It's been out for a couple of years. I guess it's just becoming popular again. So um, this is how the template comes in when you download onto your computer. And I'm going to be working out a silhouette. So um, I consider this size as small. So I just leave it like that. And this would be, once you put it together, it would be a size small hat. Um, and I size it off of the brim of the hat. So what I've done is I'm going to click and drag it into my workspace. And as you can see right now in my workspace, you can see the size of how big your, your item is. It has a ruler on your mat, but, um, what I want to do is I want to change my transparency on it so I can see my actual mat. So I'm under, you want to go to the right hand side under page setup. And then you want to go to transparency to <clears throat> make that white. All right. So now how we resize it and um, just want, so you can know that you always want to resize it from one of the squares on the corners you don't want to ever use the side squares to resize it because if you do you click and drag it you're going to distort it you don't want to do that so you always want to go from one of the squares at the corner all right so now that we have our main thing in the on our workspace what we can do i well, what i do is I, re, I click and select all of them. And we're gonna just focus on this one brim right here. And for your medium and large sizes, you can make it any size you would like um, by doing, just clicking and dragging. And this is, this is how I size it for a large hat. All right, so now I'm gonna, again, focus on this brim, this one. And everything is selected. So I'm going to grab this handle, this square right here. I'm going to click and drag it to make it bigger. And the most important thing is you want to make sure that they are all um, changing their size at the same time. That way you know everything is going to fit. So as you can see, we still have space on this 12 by 12 mat. My large, I want the brim to fit the entire page. So it's not big enough yet, so I'm gonna click and drag again until I get it to the size that I want. Now it's too big, so we're just gonna just downsize it just a little bit. And you just keep on doing that until you get it to the size that works best for you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that because we have a little bit of space on the top and uh, just a little on the bottom. So now you have your template. Everything has been resized to a large size hat. And now all you have to do is just cut and glue it together. And the glue that I recommend is Liquid Fusion, which uh, Danita, she sells it on her website, Glittery Glitch Chick. So go check her out and get that glue because it makes it sturdy. Also, another question that I've been getting was what size cardstock to use? I would recommend hmm, about an 80 pound cardstock. So, um, which I purchased mine from either Joann's or Michael's and they come in like the single sheets. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Have a good day.